Extreme heat is uncomfortable and incredibly dangerous for your body. We're checking out a university lab to find out why. There's lots of ways that heat can become a danger. Stephen Chung leads a research team here at Brock University, and I'm their latest subject. So we're just going to put this kind of like at your bra line here. Okay. We're going to measure heart rate. The team is sending me into a humid room where the temperature is set to more than 40 degrees. We're going to put a three lead electrocardiogram. Okay. So these are ECG pads. First, I'm getting covered in sensors to monitor all my vital signs. And this is just to kind of collect like overall skin temperature. Next, a temperature check. 37.0. Then it's time to step on a scale. So this is where we're starting. And we're gonna look at my weight after just to see how much water weight I've lost in that extreme heat and humidity. So let's see. Woo! It's definitely hot, I would say. Into the chamber I go. So this is the temperature right now and the humidity. So that's what we're dealing with right now. I'm gonna be running in this for 20 long minutes. We're starting in three, two, one, go. I can feel my heart rate go up quickly. With the skin temperature sensors already telling your brain, right. hey, I'm gonna be warm, you need to start getting rid of heat. So your sweat glands are gonna start working to try to get water onto your skin. But with so much moisture in this room, my sweat can't evaporate, so my body can't cool down. That's why when there's a sudden heat wave, that's the biggest risk of these cardiovascular events, these heart attacks, hospital admissions, because people are not adapted to heat, and they're just suffering from being in those hot environments. Okay, we can straddle the treadmill. Finally, my run is done. All right. You put me through my pages. And this air feels so refreshing. 144.8. I lost more than a pound in water weight. 38.6. And even my body's core temperature went up. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that was hot. <laughs> you're not in a dangerous zone yet, but you're definitely in a hot zone in terms of your core body temperature. Mm. What's scary is that extreme heat can impact your whole body from head to toe. You may be thinking less clearly. Mm -hmm. You may be dehydrated, so therefore your heart is working harder. Chung says if you can't cool down quickly. You can actually have risk of heat stroke, which is where you have so much heat built up in you that you are you know, really cooking yourself. Mm -hmm.